Hey everybody, CW here, Card Wolf, because I'm always on the hunt for great cards. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Appreciate you coming by. As you can see, we are going to be opening a 2022 blaster box of Upper Deck MVP Hockey. Have not opened one of these yet on the channel or at all, so I'm pretty excited to get into this. Uh, I'm not quite sure how many packs are in this box. It says uh, two bonus packs and then says 15 total packs, so I'm going to assume that it is actually just 15 packs and not 17 packs, but I guess it could be. I don't know. We'll find out when we open this thing up. We'll count them up and see it's six cards per pack. So I think this is going to be a, a very loaded box for us with lots of cards. And of course, we're looking for the 50 high series star and rookie SP cards in here. There's also an exclusive to the Blasters, which is uh, Gold Script Parallels. So uh, we'll look for those too. Keep an eye out for that. Should be a, a fun box for us to pull. Get this out of the way and uh, get into that. First, I have a shout out to a new subscriber, Chaz Deutsch. Thank you very much, Chaz, for coming over to the channel. Appreciate you uh, checking it out and subbing. Very nice to see that. We're up to 391, only nine more subs, and we will be doing a huge collection break giveaway where I open a collection here on the channel for the very first time. And... Uh, give everything in it away to you guys, my subscribers. Thank all of you guys for coming over to the channel today, being subscribers and leaving such great comments, sending me great emails. I've just been enjoying that so much. I'm trying to catch up on responding to your comments. I was super busy the last couple of weeks. Things are a little more back to normal now, so <laughs> very glad of that. Tomorrow on the show, we'll be doing Dorking with Dice, as we always do on Fridays, and it will be a baseball box, all baseball, in uh, celebration of the World Series. And it's been a really good World Series last night. An amazing game. I'm not an Astros fan. I hope that they don't win the World Series. I'm rooting for the Phillies. But, man, you cannot ask for much better than that. Be witness to history. Only the second no-hitter ever thrown in World Series history. The first, of course, Don Larson's perfect game. And uh, this was a combined effort of several Astros pitchers, but uh, wow, just amazing to witness that in the World Series last night. So uh, just a, a really good World Series, tied 2-2 two to two at this point. And the night before that, Tuesday night, the Phillies threw a shutout to uh, the Astros. So you're just seeing this back-and-forth competition, They're really two pretty evenly matched teams, actually. So this is a really good series. I'm certainly enjoying it. Look forward to the game tonight. And uh, hope that the Phillies will win that one before the series moves back to Houston. All right, so let's get into this. I got Mr. Uh, Kershaw to help us get into this. We'll open up the plastic there. As always, please practice good knife safety and keep these out of the reach of small children and Houston Astros because you never know what they are going to do with them. So uh, as I said, this feels like a pretty heavy box, and I think uh, it should be pretty full. Now, it says... 15 total packs. So we'll see if that's true or if they're actually 17. And that is that is how you pack a blaster box. Panini and tops. This is an upper deck box. That is how you pack a blaster box. You load it full like that so that you really are getting your money's worth. I got this at uh, I think I got this at a, a Target when I was uh, driving my mom back to the airport. I stopped at one. I think it was a Target. And uh, I was happy to see that they had these in stock as I have not found these around me at uh, the stores here in my town. Two, four, six, seven. So I think there's going to be eight here. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, so 15 total packs. So a lot for us to open. And let's get to it. See what we get out of this huge box of MVP. I wasn't a really big fan of MVP last season, actually. I think I opened one blaster and it uh, wasn't really doing much for me, but I like the design a little bit better this year. I think the design is uh, a little more interesting. Let's get that in focus for you so you can check out the design as well. There you go. Pretty nice design. I think it's a little more colorful, uh, like the uh, just the way the card is laid out a little bit better. There's Ivan Provorov starts us off from the Flyers, and then we got uh, Trevor Zegras, pretty good player there from the Ducks. And uh, there is uh, a rookie card, and it does have sort of some sort of a silvery sort of foil situation there, and the silver signature of uh, Johnny Ko Kovacevic, yeah, Kovacevic from Winnipeg. Put that in its own there, and then we got Elias Peterson, and uh, this one is the Ice Battles insert there. It's kind of buried behind uh, Elias's head. 
but that is an insert as well, so that will go in a separate stack. Then Sonny Milano and Brock Bozer finish off that pack for us. 15 packs in here. That, that is, like I said, that is how products in blaster boxes should be. 15 packs, lots of cards for us. I won't try to do the math because I can't. If you guys watch the channel, you know I struggle with the numbers, just uh, how it is for me. My camera, on the other hand, struggles with the focus. We got jean Gabriel Peugeot from New York there, and Matt's Zuccarello from the wild. Then we got a gold signature uh, MVP uh, insert there from John Marino. I think that's what we were promised we would get some of uh, on the box. So I'll put that in his stack. Another Ice Battles insert of Jesse Pulajarvi there from the Oilers. Do that one. Jack Hughes and Jack Campbell. Two Jacks finish off that pack for us as we move along through this uh, very generous stack of cards we got from the Blaster. See, we start off with here. Looks like uh, Patrice Bergeron. That's a nice one to pull. Keep that in focus for you. Come on, camera. You're really uh, not uh, not doing what I want today. I don't really understand what my camera's problem is. Man, it feels like it's getting worse. I don't know what the what is going on there. Maybe if I zoom in, zoom out. I don't know. There we go. All right. So we got it there. Patrice Bergeron, as I said, and Anthony Declare. And then uh, that's a pretty nice answer. We haven't seen one of those yet. That is, uh, not sure what this one is called. Just uh, N NHL MVP. And I had this problem with MVP last year. They don't name their inserts. And I, I don't know what that is. Kind of got this symbol here. It's, it's a pretty card, though. I like it a lot. And I like that it's a player from the uh, Avalanche, Nazim Hadri there. And, uh, yeah, I don't know what that insert's supposed to be called, but it's pretty awesome. And I like it a lot. I'm going to put that right there in its own stack. And then uh, Gabe Landeskog right there. Ice Battles insert. James Van Rees, Reemsiuk from the Flyers. And Devin Toes, of course, from Colorado there. Get into our next pack. See what we get there. Hope you guys are having a good week. It is Thursday as I uh, film this. And uh, things are very cold here. We got a lot of snow last night. Nice coating of snow on everything here where I live up in the uh, Rocky Mountains. Logan Couture right there from San Jose and Shane Gostebear from the Coyotes. We got an Ice Battles one there of Michael McNiven, goalie for the Canadiens. So uh, no other insert in here, though we did get a rookie card there. That's pretty nice of Eric Kalgren from the Leafs. I guess I'll give that its own stack. Maybe I'll put it up there. And uh, Maurice Cedar from Detroit and Max Picciaretti. Um, on the Golden Knights. So not too bad. I, I would like to get more of these kinds of inserts. Really pretty card there. The Ice Battles ones are nice with their neon orange finish, but uh, I would like to get some more variety here. Let's see. Josh Anderson starts us off here from the uh, Canadiens. And uh, we get to Mark Edward Vlasic from the Sharks. Here's an insert we have not seen yet. And this certainly is a pretty one as well. Pinpoints of Tyler Bertuzzi from... Uh, Detroit, and that has definitely got a cool foil thing going on there. That's a really pretty insert. I've not seen that one before, and that is not numbered or anything, but there's the back of it. So give that its own special stack right there. We got Victor Hedman, nice uh, Ice Battles card there, and our last two are Taylor Hall and Morgan Riley from the Leafs. Get into this one. So as you can see with MVP, you do have a variety of inserts, which is one of the reasons that I was willing to take a chance on this product this year. And there's still more that we have not pulled. There's certainly plenty of other insert categories uh, in this product, from what I know. Andrew Mangiapane from uh, Calgary, and you got uh, Zach Hyman there. And here is another one of those inserts we were talking about. This is Encounters on Ice between the Bruins and the Canadiens, Pasternak versus Gallagher. Pretty cool looking card there. I mean, uh, not players that I collect or I'm that interested in, but still a pretty nice, nice insert and a nice idea for an insert too. Put that in its own stack as well. MVP Ice Battles, Spencer Knight insert there. And here's a checklist card of Lucas Raymond and Dougie Hamilton. I don't know that uh, as an adult, I would, I would be able to just kind of exist in the world with the name Dougie. I feel like I would have uh, abandoned the last syllable of that as I, you know, grew into a man, if you know what I'm saying. 
Probably don't. John Tavares there, another checklist card in the uh, base set stuff for us. Get that in focus with my ridiculous camera. And then you got uh, Nikolai Elhers from uh, Winnipeg. Alex Killorn from the Lightning. That's an Ice Battles there. And uh, then we got a bunch of base cards. John Roslovic from the Blue Jackets. Alec Pietrangelo and uh, Patrick Lane also from the Blue Jackets. Plenty of those coming up in that pack for some reason. Hopefully this pack will get a nice, a nice insert. That was kind of a, a lame one, but uh, you know, that's what you get sometimes with the Upper Deck product, as you guys know. Starting this pack off with uh, Jamie Oleksiak from uh, the Kraken, who, as I mentioned, I don't really see a lot of Kraken games for some reason. Thatcher Demko, and uh, got a nice, uh, another one of these uh, silver signature cards from Henri Joykaroju from the Sabres, Buffalo player there. Shout out to Bills Mafia. Alex Iafalo, and that is one of the Ice Battles cards. Miko Rantanen from the Avalanche, and Andre Vasilevsky from the Lightning. Good goalie for them. Get into, I guess, about halfway through the big stack of packs for this MVP blaster break that we're doing. Drake Batherson starts us off here from the Senators. Get that uh, in focus for you there, Drake Batherson. And uh, Jacob Markstrom. And we got our Ice Battles card of Alexander Barkov. And a nice rookies card there of Vladislav Kolachonik from the Coyotes. Andre Svenchkov from the Hurricanes. And we finish off with Roman Josie. From Nashville. That's the first Nashville card that we pulled out of this whole blaster, which is kind of unusual. But uh, that's just how it goes with Upper Deck products sometimes. Hopefully this pack will be a little bit better. We haven't been getting uh, great inserts. I want to get back to some of these uh, pinpoints. We'd like to get another one of those. That's a really pretty one. Chad Kreider starts off this pack for us. He of the Rangers, of course. Get that in focus camera. Behave yourself. You're starting to... Uh, like I said, I think I'm just going to have to invest in a different camera. This one really uh, is just a constant struggle to get the cards focused on the screen. I just cannot seem to make the camera do what I want it to do, and I apologize to you guys for that. I just uh, really uh, I'm not sure why it's so difficult. All right, there we go. And now we got uh, Josh Norris. And then uh, there's a, we got a silver and a gold. That was the way this uh, whole thing started with a silver and a gold. Anzi Kopitar there from the Kings. Uh, Connor Helbus, Hunter, Connor Helbusick from Winnipeg. That's a nice battles. Insert Dylan Cousins and Kale McCarr. That's a pretty nice one there. That's probably the biggest name that I think that we have pulled from these packs so far. Let's get to our next one. Zoomed in a little, and I'm going to see if that helps the camera maintain the kind of focus that I wanted to have. Start off this pack with Nazim Kadri from the Avalanche. I like that one personally. I like that player, but I'm um, also uh, partial to the Avalanche given that I live very nearby to uh, Colorado. Timo Meyer from San Jose and Jamie Drysdale from the Ducks. Another Ice Battles cards of Robbie Fabry and uh, Ryan O'Reilly. And then uh, Jason Robertson finishes that one off from Stars. See if we can pull some more inserts. The last couple of packs have been pretty much nothing but base cards. Not as exciting as I would like. Brandon Sad from uh, from the Blues there. Let's get that in focus now. This camera, man. I, I gotta apologize for this. It should not be this difficult to get your cards to look the way you want them. Man, I don't know what's going on. And uh, we got Carter Verhage from the Panthers. Cole Caulfield, that's a nice one, from Ice Battles. Put that there. And a rookie of Matty Beniers from the Kraken. Robin Lehner and Kyle Connor from Winnipeg finishes off that pack. We got three more left on our journey through this uh, big, big filled box of MVP hockey. Hopefully we pull something a little better than what we have pulled so far. Nothing uh, really huge. Some nice looking inserts that I'd like to get more of, though. We got uh, Ely Tolvanen from Nashville. Ryan Sutter from the Stars. And there is another pinpoint scar. Pretty excited about that one. That is Mark Scheffel. Not a player I collect, but still a very pretty card. I like that one a lot. I'd love to get a bunch of those. Very nice. Now, one is gold and one is silver, and that makes me wonder if perhaps they're all like that or if the gold ones are a little more rare. I'm going to have to 
to look that up and find out. Michael Bunting, Ice Battles card there. Alex Debrincat from the Blackhawks and Tristan Jari from the Penguins. Penultimate pack here, second to last pack of the box. Still looking for something really great out of here. Some really great insert or perhaps uh, something uh, autographed or some sort of mem situation. We start off this one with Matt Deshane from Nashville and Matt Dumba, two mats in a row. Nicholas Backstrom from the Caps. That goes into the ice battles. And then there's Sean Courtier and Martin Nakis and uh, Pavel Bucinovic from the Blues. Finishes that one off. Our last pack, hoping for a little last pack magic here with at least some kind of special insert. So if we can get something like that going on. We start the pack off with Ryan Johansson from Nashville and Cam Atkinson from the Flyers. And we got Josh Morrissey, another base card. Looks like this pack is not going to be anything special. Jacob Perot right there and Jordan Eberle. And then we got uh, Brandon Point, right? The Braden Point, rather, right there. So that is our huge box of MVP hockey 2022-2023. I mean... I don't know, man. I, I don't know that I would get this. Uh, and I said this last year when I opened this product. I don't know that I would get uh, any more of this. I just don't feel like uh, there were enough inserts. And I say that a lot about Upper Deck, but I really feel that way about this. I certainly like the Pinpoints cards, and I'm going to have to find out who else is on those in that uh, insert set and see if there's anybody in there I want to collect. They're really pretty cards. And uh, whatever this insert is, I, I don't know. I still don't know what the name of uh, this insert is for Upper Deck. doesn't really say anywhere on the card that I can find, but it's a really pretty card. Very clean look to that card, and uh, I'm certainly happy to have that. Always, uh, It's got the gold signature on there as well. Not a real signature, of course, but still very nice. I like that one. Probably, that's probably my favorite card that we pulled out of here. Um, let me know what you guys think of the product in the uh, comments below, and I will be happy to uh, be proven wrong. Maybe some of you guys have had better luck with your blaster boxes and can tell me what I missed that uh, should have been in this one. I'm not sure. But uh, in any event, thanks for tuning in today. Certainly appreciate it. Enjoy opening the hockey and the football and the baseball on this channel. Tomorrow will be all baseball dorking box for dorking with dice. And uh, hope you guys are having a great week. I will see you back here tomorrow. And as always, happy collecting.